Emotional sighs broke the silence as people prayed and cried for the victims of the Planned Parenthood shooting. It was nice to see a sanctuary full of people who are full of compassion and love and hoping for healing and peace for our world. The church lit a candle Sunday for the Colorado Springs victims as it does every week for everyone who shot and killed. My preference would be to put away candles and not do this anymore and that doesn't seem to be one of our choices right now. Gun violence is, is just astonishing right now. We need to find a new way to be together and move toward being people of peace. The president of Planned Parenthood Rocky Mountains, which covers both Colorado Springs and Albuquerque, says things could have been far worse last Friday. But Vicki Cowart says staffers were trained and followed that training to the letter. They got everybody who was in the waiting area into locked rooms in the back of the building. They hunkered down, they quieted their cell phones, the manager called 911 immediately, and they waited for the law enforcement to come get them. She promises Planned Parenthood will continue in Colorado Springs and in New Mexico. Learn what to do if you wind up being in a situation where there's a dangerous intruder. Despite the heartache. In Albuquerque, Robert Richardson, KOAT Action 7 News.